Peaceful warriors, wellness. Feel better, move better, be better. When you feel better, you feel more like you. And when you move better, there's so much you can do. Be who you were meant to be. Peaceful warriors, wellness. Feel better. Alright, good morning everybody. Scott Roberts from Peaceful Warriors Wellness Center, downtown St. Pete. We're located at 19 Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. Street South. And uh, you can find us online at www.peacefulwarriorswellness.com. Please give us a call at 727-822-8866 and schedule an appointment. Come in and see one of our incredible therapists. We do specialize in helping people feel better, move better, and be better with therapeutic massage, corrective exercise, stretching, reflexology, and many, many others. Uh, so uh, if you or someone you know is in need, has a limited range of motion, struggles with uh, movement, pain, discomfort, um, those are all different people that we can help. So, all right, we're gonna do a little bit of stretching today as we do every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. It is Friday. Uh, most of you are getting ready to go out for the weekend, do something nice and fun, hopefully. So let's go ahead and get started. Grab yourself a, a belt, a rope, a strap, something that you can utilize to leverage your limbs and assist yourself in your stretching. I prefer the stretch out strap from OPTP. You can find it at optp.com. If you live locally, you can come here and buy one in, uh, from us. We're a reseller, so. All right, grab your strap, a little bit more in shoulder width apart. Reach up overhead, come up onto your toes and continue to reach as high as you can. There's that wonderful thing that you've always wanted just slightly out of reach. Let's stretch for it. All right, bring your heels down to the floor, feet a little bit more and shoulder width apart. Let's lean to the left. Remember to breathe as you stretch. All right, let's go to the right. Bring those arms down to shoulder height out in front of you. Let's rotate the body to the left, head, neck, shoulders. All the way around to the right. Grab the end of the strap in your right hand, reach up overhead, let that strap dangle back behind you. Reach down between your shoulder blades, use the strap to assist and get a little bit more movement. <sighs> Consistency does pay off, stick with it. Do it regularly. 
you'll really benefit and enjoy the results. Let's switch it up. Let's bring that right hand down to the belt line. Strap goes over your left shoulder, reaching up between the shoulder blades from the bottom. Bring that elbow up to shoulder height, bent at 90 degrees, and now we're going to rotate the shoulder. By doing that, we're going to keep the elbow in the same spot. We're going to reach back with the right hand. Let's switch sides, left hand up, reaching down between the shoulder blades with your left. <sighs> left hand down on the belt line, strap over your right shoulder reaching up between your shoulder blades on the left side. Elbow up, rotating that shoulder on the left. Let's hang that strap around the neck and shoulders. Find yourself a spot on the wall and place your palm flat on the wall with your wrist facing forward and your fingers pointing back behind you. Shoulder height, step forward the left foot and now gently rotate, turning away from the wall with your shoulders. Switch sides, left hand on the wall, right foot forward. All I did was pivot 180 degrees, automatically lines you up for the next side. Focus on the neck and head. Turn your head to the left, reach up with your hands, gently assist yourself looking over your left shoulder. To the right. Now we're gonna do lateral flexion of the head and neck. You're gonna bring your left ear closer to your left shoulder. Notice you're still moving your head and then just using the weight of your arm just above the right ear to add the assistance. To the right.
You may notice that one side of any of these movements might be needed more than the other side. Spend more time doing more stretches on that side. Do what your body needs, okay? If you need more repetitions, need more sets of repetitions throughout the day, make sure you do that for yourself. Okay, come on down to the floor. All right, if you have a regular strap or belt or rope, you're just gonna take the middle of it around the ball of the foot to assist yourself with these stretches. If you have loops or if your belt has a buckle and you wanna cinch it around the ball of your foot, you can do that as well. There we go. First thing we're gonna do is stretch the calves. Work on that ankle mobility, flexing your foot towards your, your body. All right, lie back onto your back. Keeping that right leg straight, we're going to lift the right leg towards the right shoulder. Notice that I'm keeping my arm straight so the strap is pulling at arm's length as well. It's a better assist than pulling it down towards your shoulder. Take the strap around the inside of the ankle, underneath the calf. It's gonna help rotate your leg to the inside. Now we're going to lift the leg towards the nose, the middle of the body, okay? Next, we're gonna take that strap, go all the way around one time to where the strap's on the outside of your ankle, then between your legs, switch the strap to your left hand. We're going to lift that left leg, the right leg towards the left shoulder. When you're doing these leg hamstring stretches, you're really wanting to squeeze the muscles in your quads to try to keep that leg straight. You can also uh, envision pushing your heel towards the ceiling. will help out a lot with that. All right, so let's go ahead and do our scissor stretches for the outside of the hip. Lift your right leg, scissor across the top of the left. Your strap stays in the same configuration that you already have it. Change the angle of the leg to 45 degrees. Scissor across, making sure that your hips stay flat on the floor.
Now we're going to lift that leg to 90 degrees. And if you're not able to get to 90, wherever you can get to that keeps the leg straight, scissor across. Take the strap all the way around the leg one time. So you're gonna come out from underneath the calf, back but the inside of the ankle and under again. Now we need to stretch the inside of the upper thigh or groin area of, the, of that leg. You're gonna lift your heel and spread that right leg out to the side as far as you can. Half of a split. Bend that left knee and place your right ankle on top of it. You can undo the strap for a moment. Keep it nearby. We're going to switch legs in just a second. Please place your right hand on the inside of your right knee and your left hand onto your shin by your ankle. Make sure your leg is at 90, 95 degrees at the knee. And we're going to rotate the hip, moving the right foot towards the left shoulder. Left hand assist. Sit up. Let's take that strap over the ball of the left foot. Flex your foot towards your body, stretching out the left calf. Hamstring stretches on the left leg. Let's let me sense that up one more loop there. Okay. Strap goes around the inside of the left ankle, back towards the outside of the hip. Now we're gonna lift that leg towards the nose. Hey, good morning. Hey, Dory Dory. How are you, girl, huh? I know, you doing okay? You're still kind of sluggish this morning. Um, she paid two times. Well, that's good. She probably needed it. Yeah, she feels a lot better. Good. <laughs> All right, let's take that strap around the outside of the ankle. And now we're gonna move that left leg towards the right shoulder. Strap is switched to the right hand, so we guide it in the 
angle and direction we want it to go. Put a little extra effort into trying to keep it straight. I know I need to as well. All right, now we're gonna do that. the stretches with the scissoring of the legs for the outside of the left hip. Lift that foot off the ground, scissor across the top of the right leg. Lift that left leg to 45 degrees and come across. Up to 90 degrees. Let's take that strap all the way around the leg one time. So around the inside of the ankle and back underneath the calf towards the outside of the hip. We're gonna take that left leg out to the left as far as we can, stretching the inside of the upper thigh. Bend that right knee and let's rotate the hip. You can set your strap aside, we're done with it. Left hand on the inside of the left knee, right hand on the shin, moving that left foot closer to the right shoulder. Nice job, let's go ahead and come on up to your knees. One of my favorite stretches is to stretch out the front of the hip, the hip flexors. Leave your left knee on the floor, put your right foot out in front of you, your knee should be bent slightly. You don't want it straight, but you don't want it at 90 degrees either. Somewhere in the middle. Now you're gonna keep your chest forward and your head upright. Push forward with your hips and sit down into that little valley and you'll feel a stretch across the front of your left hip. Let's switch sides. Right knee down, left foot forward. Push those hips forward, chest forward, head up.
All right, that's going to conclude our stretching for today. Let's go ahead and do uh, some push-ups. I'm going to do 22 of them. Feel free to join me. If you need to come down to your knees to do them, please do. If you need to do them you know, in increments of five at a time or whatever you need to do, that's great. All right, here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty one. 22. Extra fun because I did a little bit of chest at the gym this morning. <laughs> so nice uh, little addition there, more chest. Thanks again for joining me. Hope you have a great weekend. Come see us tomorrow morning at the Saturday morning market and check us out. I hope you have a great weekend. We'll see you on Monday.